So far we have just looked at boring theories. Now let us be practical for a moment because ultimately we need to write codes. So let us first examine how to use our variables, our comments and all these CF tags along with HTML. So first let's fire up our notepad plus plus and take up a new fresh file and then save it as variable and that must be with an extension of cfml or cfm we'll start with cf script in in this tag and let us assume one question what can be the question and let us assume one variable called my question so this question can be anything anything uh, you may like but for this purpose I'd like to choose what what's your full name so that will do it then end this statement with a semicolon and let us now output this onto our page so to output it we need CF output start tag then close this tag I'll write my entire name as uh, the question should be main strong now in here I'm also using HTML tags so HTML is also compliant with CFML files so this would be and when I want to reference something from the CF script either it be functions or variables I need to use this double pound signs and in between those I need to refer to the variable or the function that I am going to use so this will be the question and the answer will be it will be my name now let's save this file and remember to start your server your XAMPP server if you're using a XAMPP server and then take up a new tab open your browser and write the file location where you have kept it I've kept it in my local host created a separate folder for cold fusion and this would be variable dot cfm and there it is it's working perfectly although this variable has been printed but this variable can be extended we can add two variables together we can also use some built-in functions to create amazing programs so you might be asking why did I actually keep this file this CFM file so if you're really confused about this you should go back to your folder the XAMPP folder where you have kept it go back to your XAMPP folder and inside this htdocs I've created a folder named cold fusion and inside this cold fusion folder you'll find a CF fusion that has been already installed by the installer and this folder contains another folder called ww root this folder is responsible for your administration pages administrative pages and all the other pages that you should be typing so keep all your CFM files in here the next thing that we'll be looking into is we'll be modifying this code adding few more variables so the first variable was my question the second variable let us choose an integer and a decimal and we'll be looking at how to uh, convert that decimal into an integer so let me choose another variable named my age and uh, it should have the value a random value such as 19 now let us choose another variable half age this will divide the previous my age by 2 this is simple arithmetic but when we want to output this value now before we want to output this value let us round it off 
because if we divide 19 by 2 we would obviously get a decimal number so the round function as you can see will be able to round that value that var uh, the value inside the variable half h and we'll be assigning this round function inside we'll be assigning this va uh, value that we get after rounding this number inside another variable called rounded h so we now have four variables all together now let let us print them out so first I'll be choosing the age part the age variable and this will be the next thing that will be printing out or displaying on the browser will be the rounded value or the half h we can actually define we can actually print out both of them so let's just do that stuff first so this will be the half of h half of h is equals to half of h will be the half h variable will be referred here and the last one will be the rounded h variable so we'll print the one that we rounded off and that will show the round up value onto our screen rounded value then the variable so it might not be so beautifully looking a web page but it's just for understanding purposes so let us now save this file and let's go back to our web browser refresh the page and you can see that our page is showing all the values successfully so far we have only looked at how to manipulate variables variables as we know are containers of certain data and they can vary at times but in cold fusion or in cfml the variable part is very diverse and dynamic in the sense that it represents itself as structures lists and they can be also be manipulated through loops functions and many other ways so the more advanced way of using a variable is through structures so what are structures structures are ge generally variables themselves but structures define variables in a different way structures are something like your they look similar to your file systems inside your computer inside your windows computer or your Win mac computer so when we talk about structures it may look something like this this it has hierarchies and those hierarchies are addressed through the dot notation so the addressing part is done through dot notation now let me explain that dot notation to you when you talk about structures we must remember that we are talking about hierarchies so let us assume this is a file that you have created to keep all your cold fusion codes inside your computer so this file will obviously have a name of cold fusion and maybe this file will have a name called structures so when you want to address this structure folder that has a f file named structure dot cfm when you want to address this structure.cfm file f uh, from the outside world 
you need to use this dot notation addressing system so how to do it we first write the base structure name so this folder is the base so we'll be using that name first followed by a dot notation and the second folder's name that is structures and finally the structure files name so this is how we usually address our structures inside uh, Cold Fusion. But this is a general or ordinary perspective. This is a general perspective we are talking about. But let us be uh, more specific about it. So when you want to be specific about it, the best structure that we can use inside Cold Fusion is its built-in structure called CGI. CGI or Common Gateway Interface contains several variables inside it that holds data about your uh, server, the server port and many other things. So let us now take a look at how to use structures inside our coding.